decided to go book shopping. So of course we went to Barnes and Noble and Half Price Books and we found some really good books. We always like to take a day in the month just to relax and go look at books and browse. Honestly, we kind of went off today. I don't know if the stores just had a really good selection or if we were just kind of going crazy and getting everything, but we have a really good haul for you guys. I guess I'll go ahead and start. I had to get this one from Barnes and Noble. I mostly decided to get it today because it's actually the release day for the sequel. So I picked up One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. Two Twisted Crowns did release today. We saw it in store and that is what finally got me to pick up book one because I've heard phenomenal things about it. I think this is kind of like the trifecta of this year's like top fantasy books. This one with Divine Rivals and Fourth Wing. So I needed to read this one. I have heard that this one has a really interesting and unique magic system. So I'm so excited to get into it. I will read a little off the back though because I'm not too sure what it's about. It says a maiden must unleash the monster within to save her kingdom in this dark, lush, gothic fantasy debut. That sounds fantastic. Elle's pets needs more than luck to save her in this eerie, mislocked kingdom of blunder. She needs a monster. She calls him the nightmare, an ancient spirit trapped in her head. He protects her, he keeps her secrets, but nothing comes for free, especially magic. Thrust into a world of shadow and deception, she joins a dangerous quest to cure blunder of the dark magic infecting it. Except the highwayman just so happens to be the king's own nephew, captain of the most dangerous men in blunder, and guilty of high treason. Interesting. I'm ready to get into it. I haven't necessarily loved Fourth Wing and Divine Rivals as much as everyone else, but for some reason, I really think this one is going to do it for me, and it is an anticipated five-star read. So I'm excited to have it now. If I love it, I can go back and get the sequel because it's out now. So every time I talk about Finley Donovan, so many of you guys say I need to read Vera Wong's Unsolicited Advice for Murders. I think Finley Donovan is such a cozy mystery, and I always recommend it because it's just it's a light mystery, but it's also super interesting. So y'all are saying this is pretty much the same vibe, just a cozy mystery. And that's exactly what I want to read right now. A lonely shopkeeper takes it upon herself to solve a murder in the most crazy way in this captivating mystery by Jesse Q. Satonto, who is the best-selling author of Dial A for Aunties. That's another mm. one I see all the time. Vera Wong is a lonely old lady who lives above her forgotten tea shop in the middle of San Francisco's Chinatown. One morning, Vera trudges downstairs to find a curious thing, a dead man in the middle of her tea shop. In his outstretched hand is a flash drive and Vera doesn't know what comes over her but after calling the cops like any good citizen would she sort of swipes the flash drive from his body and tucks it safely into the pocket of her apron. Why? Because Vera is sure she will do a better job than the police possibly can. Nobody sniffs out a wrongdoing quite like a suspicious Chinese mother with time on her hands. Okay. I mean it sounds like a good time already. Miss Vera Wong is gonna uncover what is going on, what has happened to this man, who killed this man, and I think it sounds like a really fun time. So yeah, I'm excited to have this one now. Hopefully it is just as cozy as Finley Donovan. So up next, I don't know why I picked this up this time, but something just told me it was time. I've been kind of reading the darker-ish romances lately and I saw it there and I was like, you know what, today's a day and I'm just gonna pick it up. It's gonna be my first Sierra Simone book and it is Priest. Come on, you gotta start with this one. I know she had a Christmas book that just dropped and I do wanna read that one this winter. I've gotta read this series first though because this is the one that kind of popped off. So it says, he is a priest and here is his confession. There are many rules priests can't break. A priest cannot marry, a priest cannot abandon his flock, a priest cannot forsake his god. Tyler Bell has had no problem playing by the rules for the past three years after a family tragedy set him on a path to priesthood. That all changes when the delicious, sultry voice of Poppy Danforth sinks its claws into him through the screen of his confessional booth and he can get her sins out of his head. <laughs> Sign me up, you know? This just sounds so good. I know it's a trilogy. I saw the next two books they have there at Barnes. I always see this every time we go. So I just decided today's the day. I can't wait to read it. I've heard this one's super spicy though. So I'm ready to get into it. At half price, I did see Kristen Hannah's The Great Alone in the clearance section and it's a signed copy. Here it is. You guys know I've been trying to keep collecting some Kristen Hannah books. I know that first one, The Nightingale, that I read was so good. This one has insanely good reviews on Goodreads. So I know I'm going to love this one just as much. There's a family. The husband just came back from the Vietnam War and he's taking his wife and daughter and they're going to America's last true frontier. The daughter and her mother learn the terrible truth. They are on their own in the wild. There's no one to save them but themselves. So Ooh. I don't know what's happened to the dad. I don't want to read too much, but that already is like what is going on, what is happening. I know the story she writes can be so emotional, but like powerful at the same time. So I just can't wait to read more of Chris and Anna. So I ended up getting We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley 
Shirley Jackson. This is going to be my first Shirley Jackson book. And I think all of her books can kind of be read like at this time of year, kind of like gothic, spooky type of books. So I decided to get this one. It does not have a summary. So I'm going to look up what it says on Goodreads. Shirley Jackson's beloved gothic tale of a girl named Mary Cat and her family's dark secret, taking readers deep into the labyrinth of secrets. We have always lived in the castle is a delicious, unsettling novel about a perverse, isolated, and possibly murderous family and the struggle that ensures when a cousin arrives at their estate. I'm ready to get into it. I think this would be a perfect read for this month if I can get it done, but I've honestly just heard such good things about this author, so I think this will be a perfect one for me to start with. At half price, I did find Alex approximately four or five dollars. We have both been wanting this one for so long, and every time I check on Book Outlet, it's never there anymore. It used to be there all the time. As the summer goes by, Bailey must choose whether to cling to a dreamy online fantasy in Alex or take a risk on an imperfect reality with Porter. So we're having a little love triangle here. One guy's real and the other guy she doesn't even know, but there's like a really strong connection online. The choice is both simpler and more complicated than she realizes because Porter is hiding a secret of his own. Porter is Alex approximately. You know what, just bring it back. Cause that's ridiculous. Why wouldn't they tell me that? I mean, you probably know early on. Yeah, I mean, and it's okay because then the whole time she's kind of falling for both and I think she'll find relief when she realizes it's the same person, but also she's gonna feel betrayed. It's giving divine rivals. It is, it is. It's not divine rivals. I think this one's so fun. I mean, the cover is so beautiful as well. So I'm happy to add this to my little book collection. At half price, I found Wicked Beauty by Katie Robert. This is the third book in the Dark Olympus series. We found the first two in our local little free libraries. I liked the first one. I loved the second one. So I decided to get the third. I'm very excited to read it. So it says a scorchingly hot modern retelling of Achilles, Patroclus, and Helen of Troy. I'm excited to read more about this family. Every book so far has pretty much followed like a different sister. So I'm excited to get Helen's point of view. And I'm kind of just excited to revisit this world. It's been a while since I read it, but these are like good, spicy, darker type of romances. So perfect for this time of year. I also found Chris by the book. I think this cover is so gorgeous. It was only $3. Nora and Simon have run the beautiful oak themed bookshop in their British village for 30 years. But times are tough and the shop is under threat of closure. This holiday season will really decide their fate. An elderly man visits the store and buys the one book they've never been able to sell and it gives Nora an idea. She and Simon will send out books to those feeling down this time of year and lift people's spirits through the power of reading. So cute. It goes over like some of the people who are really going through tough times and like what they're going through. It's nice to know that they're just gonna like get them a really nice book to try and lift their spirits. I always love watching Hallmark movies and this sounds like the perfect one to read in Christmas time. That one sounds cute. So I ended up finding two YA books at half price. We have Since You've Been Gone and I've been wanting to read this one for a while. So it says it was Salone who yanked Emily out of her shell and made her life 100% interesting. But right before what should have been the most epic summer ever, Salone disappears and leaves behind a to-do list. So it says on it 13 Salone inspired tasks that Emily would never normally try, but what if it could bring her best friend back? So this whole summer she's gonna just be doing all these things on the to-do list. I want to find out what happened to Salone. This one just seems like a fun summer YA to read. And then I ended up getting See All the Stars by Kit Frick. I picked this up because I recently read another Kit Frick book. It was I Killed Zoe Spanos and I loved it. So I know I wanted to pick up more by this author. I decided to get this one. This one's gonna be kind of like a YA mystery. It says there were four Ellery's whole solar system now Ellery is alone, her once inseparable group of friends torn apart by secrets, deception, and a shocking incident that changed their lives forever. And so now it's her senior year. She's trying to navigate it by herself. They're going to try to figure out what happened. And it says the path forward isn't a straight line and moving on will mean sorting through the truth from the lies Ellery has been telling herself. I'm excited to read it because I loved I Killed Zoe Spanish. So I decided to get these two great finds at half price. We also actually met one of our viewers at half price. We've never met anyone in person like who watches this on YouTube so it was insane. Shout out Miracle. She was so nice. But yeah that was really cool. We should have took a selfie with you. I know. <laughs> Overall it was just a really good day of book shopping. Let us know if you've read any of these. That's pretty much it for today's video though. The sun has gone down. We've been here all day. But we're so excited to have these to add to our bookshelves. Make sure to join our book club if you haven't already. We're currently reading The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. That link is in the description as always. Also make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. That's gonna be it. We'll see you guys next time. Two legs and I'll buy another set of these. A lonely shopkeeper takes it upon herself to solve a murder in the most peculiar, per, peculiar, peculiar. Yeah, now you got me crazy. Peculiar, 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 <laughs> peculiar. peculiar.
It says Shirley Jackson's beloved gothic tale of the peculiar. Oh no. Peculiar. Oh my God, I'm not gonna say it, okay. You guys, we just filmed that whole video on low battery. <laughs> Could you tell we were speeding through it? I can't believe we made that. 